all of the resorts are humming with excitement after recent snowfalls which have really turned it on in the first half of August. But the season is not even halfway through yet. Beautiful fun conditions all over the region with the recent snowfalls and exciting times for the months ahead with event season about to get underway. We're at Snow Farm today, New Zealand's only dedicated cross country skiing venue, perched bang in the middle of Queenstown and Wanaka and as you can see there is great coverage up here. It is a great spot to learn to cross country ski or visit one of their backcountry huts. We'll keep a keen eye on the temperatures, but there is likely another top up of snow predicted on Thursday night slash Friday morning, especially at high elevations. And Saturday is looking fine before another possible top up in the evening as a cold change comes through on Sunday too. Kia ora, I'm Nakai and welcome back to the Queenstown Monica Weekly Mountain Update. To Snow Farm, well, unreal conditions up here at the moment with all the trails and loop tracks cranking. Big season ahead on the events front too, with a local favourite being the Merino Muster, that's on August 31st, and they also have University Deal Week, that's September 1st until 8th. Come up to get gear rental and a trail pass combo if you've got your student ID. To the Remarkables, well they'll be getting 5 to 10 centimetre top ups over the week and there's more in the forecast too. In the terrain park they have the beginner, the medium and the big lines all now open and on Saturday they have the ANC slope style competition. Bringing in a lot of international crew, there should be some really good riding to watch up there. Another one attracting a high calibre of athletes is the Winter Games NZ North Face Frontier 2 and 4 star events. That's August 23rd until 29th and September 4th to 7th is Snow Machine. A music festival that brings in international acts and a wild fun atmosphere to the Remarkables, Queenstown and Coronet Peak. Another one for the diary is Stash Gathering which is September 7th. Scheduled closing date at the Remarkables is not until October 12th so still two more months to enjoy the Remarkables. To Cadrona, well across the valley from here it is looking great with terrain park features for all abilities from beginner to elite. The wide groomed runs are looking great and their event calendar is absolutely stacked. Kicking off with Special Olympics on August 15th, Winter Pride Festival is another one that's the 24th until the 31st of August, and the Winter Games NZ FIS World Cup Slope Style and Halfpipe is the 26th of August until September 8th. Then it's into the Jossie Wells Invitational, 10th to 15th of September, and October 12th is a big one on the social calendar, the Mini Pipe World Champs, before the proposed closing day for Cadrona, which is October 13th. Big event there involving skis, snowboards, and bikes. To Coronet Peak, it has been riding really well with plenty of their rolly terrain now covered with snow. The corduroy has been great every morning for laying over an edge from 8am and night and daytime events are a plenty over the next month. This Saturday, August 17th is the 50th, yes 50th, dog derby. Watch on as dogs hurtle their way down the mountain, always a great one to watch. Kaylee Bell is playing on August 21st for the Samsung Night Ski Party. Winter Games NZ Slalom and Giant Slalom are on August 27th to 31st. Winter Pride Festival kicks off August 23rd. Check out the website for more details on that one. And proposed closing day for Coronet Peak is September 22nd. So get out and enjoy. To Triple Cone, well they are set up well for spring now, which is always a fun and wild time with a really good energy. So it's a great spot to enjoy the beautiful steep terrain or get on up for events that they have embraced, like the Triple Cone Junior Interfields Giant Slalom on August 24th, both under eight and under 16s. Closing day at Triple Cone is a renowned can't miss day on the local ski calendar, and that currently is scheduled for September 29th. To the next seven days, well this high pressure system that pushed over the divide to give us sunny days will have a strong westerly flow push into the Queenstown Wanaka region Thursday and Friday. A cold change approaches us over the Tasman Sea with temperatures dropping overnight Saturday and this cold change should bring more snow on Sunday also. So the verdict? Regular top ups interspliced with sunny days. Just a wee reminder, remember to take a second to appreciate the ski areas that you visit and look after them. Make sure you look up Love Wanaka and Love Queenstown to find out more about how you can help local climate and biodiversity projects. So that's us for another week of the Queenstown at Wanaka weekly mountain update. Sadly our last one of winter 2024. So until next winter, I've been Nakine signing off from Snow Farm for Mountain Watch.